when the parent is reading aloud to the child, there's a connection between the feeling of security and happiness and reading. So when you grow up, when you're happy, you want to read. When you're sad, you want to read because it gives you this good feeling. We Love Reading is a community-based program to encourage children to read for pleasure by training adult volunteers on how to read aloud in the native tongue on a regular basis within their local community. My parents moved to the U.S. till I was in the third grade. So I'm bilingual, and then we moved back to Jordan. I feel very comfortable in both cultures, and I think I've, I've been able to take the best of both worlds. I wanted to be a scientist, right? But there, are, there were no PhD programs in Jordan. So I became a school teacher. I taught biology, I taught science, I taught it in Arabic, I taught it in English. And I was always trying to get them to love to learn. I got my PhD in 2005, and we moved back to Jordan. When you've been away from a country and you go back, you, you notice things you hadn't noticed before. So I noticed that children don't read for pleasure. Jordan has a literacy of 99%, so everybody knows how to read, but they don't read for pleasure. I wanted to explore, why should we be worried about reading for pleasure? So we needed a public space. In Jordan, in every neighborhood, there's a mosque. We said, why don't we use it? It's got a carpet, it's clean, it's empty half the time, it's welcome to everybody, and it's in every neighborhood. They fell in love. They fell in love with reading because it was the funny, re it was the funny hat, it was the reading aloud in an animated way. And then they line up and I give them all the books so they can take them home. And I found out that reading for pleasure increases your imagination, right? broadens it. You learn to empathize because you're learning about other cultures and other people. You also increase your vocabulary and you become better at expressing yourself. These volunteers that are reading aloud, they have become, in their own right, leaders in their community, uh, especially the woman. Through this very gentle, culturally appropriate uh, entry, they become leaders, and the effect on them is that they become very confident. They start thinking, if I can become a leader in this project, what else can I do? In the case of refugees, it has been a huge impact on their psychosocial status, improving it, because refugees in camps are waiting listlessly, not knowing where they're going, what is the future holding for them. Suddenly, Wheel of Reading becomes a very tangible target that they can actually use and feel useful. But our logo, is the butterfly. It's the butterfly effect. It's about metamorphosis. Through reading, you can change a caterpillar into a butterfly. So to help change a child to discover their inner potential and their outer potential through reading aloud. It's a very simple solution, but the, uh, the consequences are huge. And with all the strife and turmoil going around in the world, and, the, and I think this is one way of making a difference. <laughs> طعام لي.